From his tiny cell, the gifted artist put pencil to paper to pass the time. Valentino Dixon spent 27 years in prison after being wrongfully convicted of murder. I could listen to this I know. for a lot longer because it's the most extraordinary story. He was finally exonerated thanks in large part to a remarkable skill and some colored pencils. Valentino Dixon and Tiger Woods were shoulder to shoulder. Valentino Dixon nominated for two Emmys and a gold medal recipient from the Vatican. Hello everybody, my name is Valentino Dixon. I spent 27 years in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Some say I drew myself out of prison. My show is called Draw and Talk With Me because we're gonna talk about everything from A to Z and we're gonna draw something. Some of my guests will include Hollywood actors, pro athletes, people in the music world, and everyday people like you and me. Who knows, I could show up at your doorstep. I'm gonna help people discover that hidden ability that talent that they never knew existed. So come draw and talk with me while we learn something new and I help you discover that artistic gift. So if you can do anything different in your career, when you look back, what would it be? You know, I, I always put my golf first and I'm not saying that I regret that I didn't marry Donald Trump. During your career, have you suffered any uh, serious injuries? Were you ever hospitalized? Professional rodeo had a bull step on my chest. Crushed my sternum bone, broke uh, two ribs, punctured a lung. Wow. You know, I had a bull break my leg four times. Had a bull step on my head, knock my ear off. She adopted a baby, and she adopted a black baby. Now, I want to ask you, Susan, you know, what made you want to adopt a baby? I have so much confidence in my cooking abilities that if I sat with you and you showed me how you prepare your Indian dishes, I could not only take what you teach me, I believe I can make it better. I'm not I'll letting my you into my restaurant ever I'll, again. I'll. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna donate these pictures to charity. Right, Miller? No. Uh, we're gonna donate these pictures. Don't pay him you no mind. You can. Line. Maybe we can do a part two. Maybe we can do a part two. Hopefully we can. Only we can. if he donates this picture. If he don't donate this picture, he's not getting on this set again. So what's up with your energy level, man? I only have six hours of sleep. I'm supposed to have 11. How you doing, Rondé? Good. I have my doubts still. We have a Hall of Famer right here, and he was a 66 pick. How does that happen? Because somebody wasn't really paying attention to who was coming out in that draft. You know the best thing about that, though? What? I, I, I outplayed all of them. I lasted Ooh, longer than all, all of them. the other guys. Yeah, all of them. And you know each one of them. Oh, right? yeah, I did. Like some of them probably didn't last after the first year. I could probably give you their names if I wanted to. <laughs> Today's guest is the music mogul Jason Flum. Discover some of the Best artists of our time right now. Katy Perry, Kid Rock, Lord. Show me this sign, this made me stop. Okay, could you explain your situation? Currently homeless and unemployed, but I worked for Firestone for about 11 years, um, but I developed late onset epilepsy, grand mal seizures. I can't drive, have a license, so I can't do automotive. And I'll leave you at this one. The, the funniest thing about the learning is here is that, you know, the guy with the BMW mm -hmm. will lock his doors and roll up the window, but the uh -huh. single mother with the spare tire in the left front and the cracked windshield, for her to hand me five dollars, that means a lot. And and so it's known. I, I don't look on that lightly. Can anybody tell me if power or lack of power affects people? It's when you have power, you take it for granted immediately. That's what happens, you become used to it, and then you think almost, you'll become desensitized to it. I think that coming across as a nation that's not trying to harm others would definitely be very important. So we only get one Earth, and um, if it's gone, it's, it's gone. Is there anybody in here that don't believe in second chances? If you're a human being, you have to treat somebody right, and that's, if you believe in God, if you believe in, a, in somebody watching us, everybody is, is supposed to be treated with respect no matter what they did. So that's giving you a new yeah. perspective on life. Life slows down when you're facing death. When you're facing death, you want one more minute. You want one more second. Right. So it slowed life down for me. You can try a hundred different things in your lifetime right. and fail at 99 of them. But that 100th thing that you try, you're successful. No one even knows about the 99 that you failed at.
Hey, everybody. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions as to how the drawing talk for me come about. Well, it first started with the vision in six by eight prison cell, which eventually led to my release of 27 years of wrongful imprisonment. The shows are produced by me, edited by me, uh, 100% independently owned, and I'm looking for a network to take on this project. So stay tuned. Who knows I can show up at your doorstep.